So, with part of your design, you might want to add some text to it if you come up with a funky brand name for it, or you want to put some instructions on, you might have a button that turns it on and off. You might want to put that as text on your design and how to emboss it, so it's sticking out a bit. I'll make it go into the surface, kind of engraving it in. The way you do that is you click on a surface. Now, I'm going to click on this flat surface here for this do for thing. And I'm going to create a new sketch. So it's panned it around there. Now, under the sketch options, I've got text. There we go. Press on that. And then I just click where I want that text to go. Now the text option box comes out here, so I can type in what it is, so I like the term I do for there. So you can see it's, draw, it's drawn it in, it's sadly it's upside down, etc, but we can sort that all out in a second. So I'm just going to pan it round, like that, and I can change the height of the text, play around with those settings, and then finally I can, I can put it in position, move it around. Just to get the angle right. There we go. That'll do for now. Now once I've got that, you can see I can also play around with the settings. I can uh, change the font. So all the fonts that will just be basically that'll be on your PCs will be in here. So find one that you know looks and keep into your design. So I'll go for that one. Quite like that one. Now if you go on bold what happens is it won't let you do the next bit which is to explode the text so you can actually push it and pull it. So I'd always leave those things off. Just keep it as it is. If you need a bulk a bit of a thicker font just try and find a thicker font rather than putting bold on because it tends to not work. Now when I'm happy with it I press uh, OK. There we go. Now, before I move on to the next part, if I press OK, stop sketch, it should be fine, I'll be able to go off, but if I ever printed it, it wouldn't see anything, it wouldn't do anything. So what I need to do is I need to be able to grab each one of these letters and either push them or pull them out or push them in. So to do that, I right click on it and I need to go to explode text. And I'll do this whilst I'm still in sketch mode. So I click explode text and you'll see what it's done, there we go, is it's got rid of the blue but I can select inside each of those letters now. Now I can stop that sketch. And there it is. So all I need to do now is if I scroll in, is I uh, click in on each letter. I'm holding shift as I do that, so I can select them all at once. Like that. And I go to extrude. And I can either pull them out like that, so they're at a millimetre there, pull them out a bit closer, so you can see the really nice effect you can have as it, as it sticks out there, because it's really nice embossed effect, so we can round those edges off as well using the uh, fillet tool, or alternatively I could have it sticking in. Which is what I'm going to go for. So you can see it's on cut at the moment. Press OK. So there I've got my text. It's kind of in, it's, it's engraved into the surface. Let's pan it round. Gives it this really nice effect. And when it when it gets printed, it's very effective. It looks really cool. And that is how you add text to surfaces. Now, if you want to add it to a rounded surface, it's tricky, but it is possible. If I click on that rounded surface, I'm going to go to Construct, and I want to do a tangent plane. So we need to just angle that round so it's at the angle I want it to be. So I want it kind of on the end. And I'd avoid, if you're ever doing it on a curve, don't do some, anything too lengthy. Okay, keep it nice and short. I'll press OK there. I've got a new construction plane on the end and I need to make another one so I go to construct again and offset that one by a millimetre or so so that that is, is sticking off the side there press OK OK now 
it's on that second one I made that I'm going to do this next bit. So I click on that one, create sketch, and there we go. So what you do is you'd click on text, and the key thing is put the cursor where you want the bottom of the text to be. Okay, and right click to explode the text. So it's exploded now. I can stop the sketch, it's on that plane there. I can hide that one now. The beauty of this now is I can push this into that surface. So, grab each of the letters. Four, five, and I'm going to create an extrusion. This time, rather than using distance, I'm going to use two objects. I click on the curve, and it's kind of embedded itself into there, like that. As you can see, now it's sticking out far too much at the moment. I'm going to sort it out in a second, but the key thing is it's into the curve. So if I inspect that from above, you can see each of the letters is like that. And you can see what's happening around the edge of this D. It's curving away like that. So I press OK like that. So I've got that text sticking out there now. Now I want to trim this as close as I can to there. So what I'm going to do to make it so it's following the curvature is I'm going to create a new sketch the top view I'm going to do an offset So you can see what I'm doing is I'm putting this offset kind of how far I want the letters to stick out. It's okay. Now, just with my line tool, I'm just going to go around. Uh, it doesn't have to be particularly neat, just as long as it's going around. So just put that pink area around that. Perfect. Press stop sketch. So I can click that now. Then all I do, I'm going to extrude on, I'm going to pull this up and it's going to trim off all of that was sticking out but the text copies the curvature that I've got there. It's on cut, press OK. And there we have it. My text is sticking out and it's going around the curve surface. It's a bit of a long winded way around to do it and can be quite tricky took me a couple of goes to get it right first time but when I got it right it does look effective it doesn't look as silly as if you just pushed it straight in because you'd have the letter D sticking out a lot more than the letter O it does look a bit daft